This is Tennyson E. Stead, writer and director of Quantum Theory, here with another eight-sided blog. My birthday is March 12th, and to celebrate my birthday, my fiance Evan took me out to see Glass, finally, before it leaves theaters. And it was a really wonderful film-going experience for me, so I figured I'd just take a minute and share you know, a wonderful night at the movies that I had because movies are what bring us all together. So my relationship with M. Night Shyamalan's movies has always been one where, um, purely through coincidence, I have found my way into at least the ones that have meant the most to me in times when I've felt particularly alone or particularly frustrated or particularly sort of at odds with my own thoughts or my own life. And when I went to see Unbreakable and I went to see Signs and one or two of his other movies, the the characters of the movie and the message of the movie and sort of the, the whole theme of what's being presented has always been directly related to what I'm going through. And as you know, if you watch the blog, Evan and I have been homeless now for a couple months. There's been a lot of challenges put in front of us and a lot of questions about who we are, what we're actually doing here, and is it worth it? You know, it's a constant hammer on your mind when you are quite literally suffering in some way for a creative craft or an art form. You know, what, what's the meaning of all this? Is it even important enough to, to put yourself through this? And there are always in that situation people in your life that are willing to say, no, of course not, you know? do this, do that, you know, I will, I will handle this and that if only you will give up this ridiculousness that you're involved in. Those kinds of problems create uh, a room for that conversation. And there's always someone who's willing to step in and exploit that and, and get the message out to you that what you're doing isn't constructive or healthy or good and that, they, and that you need to come to your senses and, and re- reevaluate your priorities and make different choices and they will support you in that process but they certainly won't enable you in you know the stuff that you're going through and the whole theme of glass without going into too much detail is a theme of belief and it's a theme of understanding and knowing that you are not the whole picture and that whatever you're going through, whatever you're, you're doing to make things work may or may not go the way you expect. But even if it doesn't go the way you expect, and even if you don't get to complete whatever plans you may have, someone else is out there with plans too that is going to come into the work that you're doing and the things you've created and the environment that you've built around yourself, and they're going to use those resources and carry the torch onward. Basically, the theme of the movie is believing that what you do matters even when it doesn't turn out the way you think it will. And um, the, like, like I said, <laughs> when I, sometimes when I walk into an M. Night Shyamalan movie, it's at exactly the right time. And this was one of those experiences where it just hit me right in my gut. And uh, I was emotional for the rest of the night. It was uh, probably my most memorable birthday. Um, Evan bought me a couple of little presents as well. She got me this Hot Wheel car, which is a space Hot Wheel car. And she got me this dragon, which we have named BJ. <laughs> and we had ourselves a little snack at Denny's, some coffee and french fries. Simple, but lovely. And... Uh, and that's how I celebrated my birthday. So, uh, Glass, if you have a you know a dollar run theater around your neighborhood, is probably just about to leave theaters. I recommend that you catch it before it does. My compliments to M Night Shyamalan, as always. And you know that's one particular cinematic experience where if you've enjoyed the other movies, if you've enjoyed Unbreakable, and if you've enjoyed Split, and if you're open to seeing something that isn't necessarily uh, just a superhero movie, but in which 
you know, the filmmaker is is, is really trying to develop a theme. I think that I think that you'll be enriched. The lines of action were tight. It was a good script. The performances were outstanding. Um, it was a pleasure to watch James McAvoy be uh, his goofy self that he's been throughout that franchise. And Samuel L. Jackson gave one of the best performances that I can recall him giving. So, um, and Bruce Willis looks good. <laughs> Bruce Willis is is chugging right along. So uh, it's 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 worth it's worth checking out, and uh, I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. And that's all I've got to say about that. So if you've enjoyed these videos, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, please make sure to click the subscribe button because we are going to have a lot of updates on quantum theory. Um, as soon as this big news that I mentioned last week drops, things are going to start changing, and I'm going to have a lot more resources to chase down the the stuff we need for quantum theory so if and it's frankly it's entirely likely that the budget for quantum theory will be in place and will be in pre-production by the time all that is settled but if that's not the case then it's going to be a little easier for me to run around and get that done so things are going to start moving a lot faster and i don't want you to miss anything so click subscribe and click the little alarm bell have yourself a good evening i will catch you later bye bye